In no way, shape, or form am I any kind of tire expert. Don't claim to be, but don't try this at home, seriously. There are two major parts of the tire. There's the tread and there's the sidewall. The tread is meant to roll over the ground. It's meant to wear evenly. The sidewall, however, just more or less keeps everything together. It holds everything of the tire in. So when you compromise that sidewall of that tire, you've compromised the whole tire. It's the holder. You've compromised it. It's gone. It's over with. Even though this guy's doing a good job at patching it up, it's not going to hold. That tire flexes way too much. It comes in and out. It just moves way, entirely way too much. When he gets up to speed, it's probably going to blow out. So you do what you want to do. Myself, personally, I wouldn't run this. I would use it for a burnout tire or I'd use it on a farm equipment, but I wouldn't run it on the road.